Hey guys, even though this technology has been around for a number of years, you've most likely recently heard more and more about microneedling with RF or radio frequency. Now there are various brands on the market that are able to deliver this technology. At Skin Technique, we have the Intensive by Endymed, but you've probably heard of Infini, Morpheus 8, Scarlet RF, Secret RF. With the help of Taj, our Clarion representative, I would like to get into more about the science behind this technology rather than the brand of the device. When we are needling the skin, as opposed to using a pen, we are adding a wave of radio frequency. What is radio frequency? Exactly that. So essentially, as the needles enter the skin, we kick on electricity, really is what it is. And that creates some heat into the skin, warms things up, and stimulates your body's natural process to create new collagen fibers within the tissue. At the same time, the heat works very similar to when you throw a wet sweater in a dryer. It just shrinks. And so that's what we're really looking for when tightening the skin, is that shrinking effect on our pores, on our tissue, to create a more youthful look. So what skin conditions will this really work well for? There's a lot of misinformation in the industry and people try to use one tool for everything. What I really like about this clinic is you have all the tools in your bag, but it's really about choosing the appropriate tool for the appropriate patient and their appropriate condition. So when it comes to microneedling with RF specifically, what we're looking to do is tackle a few different items, one being skin tightening really contracting the collagen and elastin fibers and stimulating new collagen for tight, supple skin. The second area that I really like microneedling for is textural issues. That could be scarring, wrinkling, or stretch marks. Some of the toughest treatments that we can encounter within a clinic. But by combining the needles with the radio frequency energy and giving it that double hit, we're able to provide a really, really good result for our patients. Taj, what sets the intensive apart from all the other devices? It's a great question. And I think there's three main areas that set this device apart from some of the other ones on the market. And it really comes down to safety and effectiveness. So number one is the quality of the needles that you're using. There are a variety of different types of needles on the market. Ours uses a highly tapered gold-plated needle that enters and exits the skin without dulling or barring. And what tends to happen with cheaper needles is that there's a dulling effect of the needle that causes a pulling on the tissue and just creates unnecessary pain and trauma. The other important thing to note about the needles is that we have insulated or non-insulated needles. Now, insulated needles essentially means that the radio frequency energy is limited to the tip of the needle. So in those particular treatments, there tends to be multiple passes on the skin so that you can reach different layers of the tissue. When you're using a non-insulated needle, the radio frequency energy covers the entirety of that needle. And so every single layer of your skin is being treated in one pass. And what that does is just creates a quicker, less painful and less traumatic experience for our patients. Now, the last important piece is the delivery system of the needles. So you have some needles that are delivered through a staple effect where it's almost like punching the skin. The intensive uses a more motorized, smooth insertion and exit of those needles that again provides a less traumatic, less painful experience for our patients. So I've had this treatment myself multiple times and I have found at times for it to be slightly uncomfortable, but we have many ways to reduce the discomfort associated with this and many of our other procedures. You provide us with Pronox, so tell us a little bit more about Pronox. Sure, so many of the clinics out there are limited to numbing creams to create a, a more comfortable environment for their patients. At this clinic, we have the uh, option of using Pronox, which is essentially a mix of oxygen and nitrous oxide. Now, it may seem scary at first, 
But this type of device has been used for over a hundred years in hospitals and has even been used on pediatric wards and for women delivering babies. So it's extremely safe for patients. And what it really does is it reduces the anxiety around the treatment, but it also dissociates them from what's going on. So they're sort of just hanging out while you do the treatment and, and they don't really even notice that you're doing it. It definitely makes the procedure way more comfortable. I think it's more entertaining for the staff as well. True, <laughs> it's like a truth serum. Exactly, yeah. The most important part of any treatment is the safety profile. What makes microneedling with RF safe and how safe is it for different skin types? So that's a fantastic question and I think it's something that we should really clarify for our viewers out there. So radio frequency microneedling to me is an ideal treatment for a few different reasons. It's safe on all skin types. Unlike laser treatments, you can actually perform this treatment in the summertime as well. It provides a result for some of the most difficult to treat conditions, including acne scars, stretch marks, wrinkles, and skin tightening. The other component that a lot of patients look at is what is my downtime gonna look like? Not everybody has the opportunity to hide out while their face is recovering from some of the more intense treatments out there. The beautiful part about the intensive is that most patients within 24 hours look pretty much like they haven't had anything at all. So I really find that this treatment has that safety, effectiveness, and provides a pretty quick turnaround when it comes to the downtime. So to reiterate your point, a patient with darker skin type right. that is struggling with acne scars, for example, they are tricky to treat because of the risk of hyperpigmentation with, with lasers and fractional resurfacing treatments. But microneedling with RF is a safe treatment option for patients with darker skin types. Absolutely. And uh, I've actually been a, a user of this particular treatment. I think you were actually the first one to perform this procedure on me. So it's been uh, exceptional for a lot of our patients, including myself, specifically for acne scarring. And then again, I think it's also important for patients to understand what this treatment cannot do. There are still treatments out there like the BBL, for example, that are really going to help clear hyperpigmentation and address uneven skin tone. Or treatments like off therapy, which are ideal treatments for lifting skin along the jawline. Don't fall for empty promises when it comes to certain treatments that are good for delivering one thing but not great at delivering another. I think you should see microneedling with radio frequency as that textural improving skin tightening treatment. Would exactly you agree? Exactly that. And I think this is a really important differentiation to make is that there's not one tool that's appropriate for everybody and every condition. So the thing that I always say to patients is visit a clinic that goes through a comprehensive consultation process and determines not only what is the most appropriate treatment for your condition, the safest for your particular skin type, but also the one that fits with your preferences when it comes to pain or downtime. And of course, as part of that consultation process, there are things you need to do prior to any treatment that involves a little bit of downtime, yep. as well as aftercare, which needs to be explained thoroughly and for you to enjoy your results, but also to protect that investment that you've made in your skin. Exactly that. And that's where a lot of the sunscreens and skin cares come, uh, come into play as well. So, you know, using just injections or just an energy device isn't really the answer. And I think, I always liken this to fitness. If you go to the gym every day, but you don't have proper nutrition, you're not gonna see the results that you want. So in an ideal world for patients, they want to combine energy devices like the intensive, injectable treatments, as well as that skin nutrition that you would find in a variety of skin cares. So it definitely seems that microneedling with RF is here to stay. I've already seen with our intensive device, there have been upgrades over the last little while. The treatment is quicker, it's less painful, and there's less downtime. So I appreciate your time. I think we've debunked a lot of the myth around RF energy, and uh, I look forward to delivering this treatment to our patients. Thanks for having me. Thank you.